Today on the channel, we're back again with another G.I. Joe Classified Series unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got another version of Snake Eyes. This time, the Desert Commando version. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another G.I. Joe Classified Series unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got another G.I. Joe Classified Series Snake Eyes, this time the Desert Commando Edition. But for all your G.I. Joe needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up DJC Collectibles. Use discount code 8 off DJC to save 8% off your entire order. Got to get a deal out there. That's exactly what I did. Picked up these new G.I. Joe Classified Series up there from DJC Collectibles. So head that way if you're in the market right now. But of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. Without further ado, another version of Snake Eyes. And we know how it goes. Got to get the most out of your molds. Got to get those characters out there. And you got to get Snake Eyes of the world out there on a regular basis. I've lost track at this point how many different Snake Eyes figures we've had. I'm sure we'll have some more as well. We'll get updates, we'll get re-releases, all kinds of stuff because once again, he is a heavy hitter. You got to get him out on the shelves. And this is a different one, Desert Edition, the Desert Commando Edition. And I don't believe, and I could be very wrong on this, but I don't think we ever had this in the 3 and 3 4 scale back in the day. It would have been uh, after my heyday of collecting, that's for sure. It could have been possibly one of those like Toys R Us 3 packs, uh, those exclusive packs back in the day as well. But this is probably first time around the sun, at least it is for me at the end of the day. But definitely an interesting packaging design. Very similar to what we're used to as of late with the classified line with the plastic free packaging. G.I. Joe logo here. Get the weapons banner there. Little glamour shot with a little storm shadow peeking around the corner there. A little Easter egg action looking good. Uh, four and up, warning, choking hazard, plastic free packaging. G.I. Joe Desert Commando Snake Eyes. He is number 92 in the line, getting dangerously close to 100. It's time to drop the balloons when we hit 100. We'll see about that. But on this side, you got the QR code, a little bit of that action. And then on the back, a bunch of jibber jabber at the bottom. You got a glamour shot of the figure, showing all the accessories, everything else that comes with it. Just kind of paint by numbers on the back of the classified series, what that is. Without further ado, let's get him out of the package here. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what all the fuss is about. And there's fuss. There's always fuss with the G.I. Joe Classified Series line, as we do know. We're all big fans of it, and I'd hopefully you are if you're watching this video. See you later, Spider-Man style. There it is. Desert Commando Snake Eyes 92. The storage lockers, a very cool idea. Good for uh, scene building, things like that. See you later. Goodbye. Got all of his accessories in here. Let's see what's going on. Got the G.I. Joe Cobra baggies going here. There it is. Got everything out. And bam! See you later. Right off the screen. How about that? How about that? But let's get down to it. Let's look at all these accessories. Let's go through them. No extra hands or anything like that. But oh my gosh, look at this big old sword for Snake Eyes here. Very interesting because this is extremely pliable plastic on this one. It is all bent out of shape, but this is probably the gummiest G.I. Joe Classified Series weapon I have ever seen. This is very, very soft rubber. Uh, it almost looks uh, comical. It almost looks comical. That's how <laughs> rubbery it is. Uh, I get it. They didn't want it too hard. They didn't want anybody stabbing themselves, things like that, but no worries with this one. This is about the rubberiest uh, weapon I think I have ever seen. So that's absolutely weird. You got a nice orange blade with silver against it. Got kind of a brown desert-esque handle on this one. But man, oh man, is that a little bit floppy. That is definitely interesting. I was not expecting that at all. We do get the backpack here for old Snake Eyes. All in one color, of course, G.I. Joe style plugs into the back. Got all kinds of sculpt in this one. A little extra color would really bring that out, but we all know about how that goes as well. But got pockets, things like that. There is a hole on the side here. That will be for the sheath, so you can store that sheath right on the side of the backpack. You guys know how much I love the classified line. You can store everything on here, and you can store this other blade here. So we get another blade for all Snake Eyes here. An interesting one, uh, all silver at the top, looking good. And then you got kind of a corded handle on the bottom. Definitely smoother and definitely not as gummy as the last one, but still, gosh, fairly gummier than I remember these being. So uh, take notice of that one right there. 
Actually, is this for this one? It might be for this one right here. Maybe that's part of the reason it's so gummy, so it can fit all the way in here. Could be, but it does fit here, and it is for the bigger blade, the curved blade, we'll call it. So you can store that on the back of the backpack if need be. Talked about this one right here. We got that done. Now we do get a little desert knife here. Of course, you got to have this. If you need to cut up, open a scorpion or something out there in the desert, silver handle or silver blade with a brown handle on here, very desert-like. So we do get that blade there. Get a little uh, side uh, bandolier. Bandolier, is that what they call these things? A little strap goes over the top of of him, of course. You got the hole in the back, so you can plug the backpack through the hole into his back to keep everything together. You got three grenades sculpted in here, once again in the desert brown color. Goes with the commando element of Snake Eyes that this figure does represent, for sure. Then we do get a little pistol action here, just a little side piece. A little side piece. Everybody needs a side piece, I guess. Sure. Brown, uh, desert brown color with a little darker brown in there as well. Uh, just a small little pistol, so we do have that here. Then we get his main weapon... I guess a machine gun here with a little silencer action on the end. Of course, that plugs right in here at the end, so you can have this on, have this off. Uh, you can probably end up storing this on the side. I believe that's how the original Commando Snake Eyes was, and we'll compare it to that one here in a little bit, of course. But that does this plug right on the end there, so you can put the old silencer on there. I think that's what it's called, silencer. Uh, but definitely looking good. Once again, you got the desert brown colors on this, like we're used to with uh, the desert characters. Now we got Snake Eyes in the old cardboard prison. We got to cut him out of here looking good. Uh, we've seen these before. This is kind of the new way they're storing the G.I. Joe figures. Uh, instead of the plastic prison, we're getting these little cardboard coffins in, in a lot of ways. So there that goes. See you later. See you later. Goodbye. Oh, one more. See you later. Goodbye. And there it is, and we got old Snake Eyes out of the package, and Snake Eyes looking interesting, and as I always do say, I prefer my Snake Eyes as a commando over a ninja. Just could be me, I don't know, it's just uh, the way I always preferred my Snake Eyes. But we're definitely seeing some reuse with old Snake Eyes right here, that's uh, no doubt about it. The head sculpt on here is that familiar commando Snake Eyes look with a different color going on. He's got the bronze goggles there, the desert tan kind of ski mask over the top is almost what it feels like in some ways. And definitely interesting, but definitely looks very familiar, as we do know. And I guess articulation on this guy, you got a little bit of butterfly, not a ton in the shoulders. Arm's going to go all the way around for us. Bicep cut, got to have those. Double jointed elbows, not pinless, though. The pins really do stick out on this one, especially on the inside. Uh, you got the brown on the outside and then the tan there. It just does, definitely sticks out, there's no doubt about it. You get the hands back and forth, side to side, up and down trigger hands. You got the trigger finger going on there. Like to see that. He does got a little bicep uh, pocket, a little pocket there that is free flowing, so you can move that around. Do you get the waist articulation? Do you get the double jointed, the double jointed, the double jointed chest? I don't know about that, but it is definitely an ab crunch, so you do get the ab crunch right there. Uh, the neck does have some movement in it as well as the head, so you get plenty of movement out of that head if you need to. A lot of different uh, movements out of that head with the neck combo being there. You get the drop down hips as we're used to. Big old splits for snake eyes. Got to have those. We know all about that. You do get the thigh cut. I love how it's hidden there around his uh, little spots here. You can hold his pistol on one side, hold the knife on the other. I like that we have that there. You do get the double jointed knees going on. Very tight joints, but they are there. Of course, the boot cut and then the ankles back forth side to side. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save 10%. Make sure you do get your Mattel stands. What do you know? He fits perfectly on the stand right there. So that definitely does look pretty good. Uh, it definitely an interesting one, though. But boy, not an iconic Snake Eyes to me. That is for sure. It just doesn't remind me of any Snake Eyes I've come across in my time. And I've come across a, a few Snake Eyes in my time. You do got a little logo on the side of the arm there. A little G.I. Joe. Looks like he's got a little picture of Timber there as well. I don't know if that's what that's supposed to be, but you do have that on the shoulder. Got a little insignia there at the top of his vest. Definitely a desert tan, is that what we're going to call this? The desert tan on the mask and the top, and then the darker brown here. Kind of matches the flow of his weapons as well. And as we did talk about, the weapons can all be stored on Snake Eyes right here, so you can pop this in. I did talk about this uh, muzzle or, or this uh, silencer or whatever. This does store separately here if you want to. If you don't want to have that on, you can store it right here. That is reused from the Commando Snake Eyes that we saw in the past with Timber, of course. Definitely interesting. He does got his belt there with his insignia on there. Uh, you got some pockets sculpted in. Free-flowing belt. It isn't removable, but it is definitely free-flowing. Like I said, you got this big old satchel over the top. You can just slide on over there, and you can put that in and line it up with his backpack. I'll do that for the glamour shots as well. 
but a little bit of plain Jane and definitely by no means an iconic version of Snake Eyes. Uh, but I can see people wanting this. Snake Eyes is a seller. You're looking to build out your desert team. You know, we're seeing winter teams now, desert teams, uh, all these different sub teams. Of course, Tiger Force, Night Force, uh, Python Patrol. We're seeing all the kind of subdivisions of G.I. Joe and Cobra. So now we're going to get a little subdivision of, of course, the desert theme, guys. And you can't have a desert theme G.I. Joe collection without, of course, Dusty. We do have Dusty in there. So you do get Dusty and Snake Eyes together. The only thing I don't like about these two, you natural pair up, you would think, but they're a totally different desert kind of gear. It would have been nice if they would have matched, uh, made Snake Eyes match Dusty because Dusty came first. Uh, maybe that's just me, but I, I would have liked to have seen that. I feel it looks like, yeah, they're supposed to be a members of the same team, but boy, their uh, color scheme just doesn't, I mean, match. It just doesn't work. This feels very G.I. Joe cartoon Dusty, which I'm here for. This feels like modern take on G.I. Joe desert teams is what this one feels like. So definitely some differences between the two. Kind of is what it is. So there's that. But of course, we do have the Commando Snake Eyes. Actually, my favorite Snake Eyes is, like I said, the Commando Snake Eyes. So you do have some reuse, but some different stuff here. It's kind of an all amalgamation Snake Eyes is what we got here with a lot of pieces from different stuff. But that's the way it goes. That's what happens in all these toy companies. They get pieces from other figures and bam, what do you got? A new figure. You got a new Snake Eyes for the shelf. So an interesting one. By no means going to be in the top 10 favorite G.I. Joe classified figures of 2023 for me. Just not enough meat on the bone here. But I do like what they're doing. I do like the idea of getting some desert teams going on there. But I think there could have been some things done a little bit differently that I would have preferred. Like having him and Dusty kind of matching colors. I think that would have went a long way. At least for me. You guys in the comments let me know your thoughts on this one. Is it a pickup? Is it a pass? For a lot of collectors, I can see this being an easy pass because they want Ninja Snake Eyes. They want Commando Snake Eyes. Probably don't need Desert Snake Eyes. But you guys tell me in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content, including early access to videos like this over on the Patreon channel. And Patreon, as usual, your best way to support this very YouTube channel and all the content it does bring. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for the desert, yes, the desert, not the dessert, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.